What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the 2012 Ford Edge for a engine light for a very small EVAP leak. Uh, we also have a tire, uh, tire light problem as well. In this video, I made this for these 2012 Ford Edge owners, or basically anyone with a capless filler net. All right, so what happened is manufacturers thought it would be so much better to get rid of the old trusty gas cap that worked for everybody and worked for many years. Now they went to a capless filler neck which just a flapper and a seal and a door inside there. So for one, you can't stick the wrong nozzle in the car and then two, uh, you can't fix it yourself in most cases. So this is for the guy who doesn't have a scan tool, the guy who doesn't have a smoke machine or girl. Um, scan tool, smoke machine, and they just want to know what some of the common causes are for a very small evac. Well, if you have a low mileage car, and low year car, meaning age of the car, this is going to narrow it down for you. Now, there are so many more variables, we're not going to get into that, but we're going to say the most common failure issues for a very small evac leak uh, is going to be uh, with a gas cap or a capitalist system, um, a failure in the emission system. But where we're going to pinpoint is to the capless filler neck today. Capless filler neck. All right. So you can clean them yourself. If you want to use some WD-40, and you don't want to use a whole lot, make sure your gas tank is fairly full, um, because the WD-40 or PB blaster or brake clean will mix with your fuel and burn with no issues. So what you're going to do is take that funky little uh, woman's P uh, funnel that's in the trunk of your car if you still have it. That will get inside the capless filler neck, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide that in and out of the capless filler neck, and then you're gonna spray a lubricant, some type of lubricant, a capless filler neck funnel, and you're gonna slide this thing in and out, ready? Long strokes, no, it doesn't matter. In and out, in and out, and then you're gonna spray the lubricant around the sides here. Then you're gonna get some type of compressed air, if you have access to that. And then you're gonna blow some compressed in there. 25 to 30 strokes. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of PB blaster. What you're trying to do is clean that, uh, the rust, the pollen, the dirt, whatever has been going in and out of there for the last 10 years. And this is not a fix. This is a, a, an alternative to just replacing the filler neck, which is very costly. The next part of this is you're gonna find wherever the vent valve, ESIM, leak detection pump is and then you're gonna replace it. Remember, this is for the guys and girls out there who don't know don't know where they're headed in this problem and they wanna try and do it themselves. So you're gonna clean your, your filler neck or you're gonna replace your gas cap. It's, it's similar for all vehicles. The older the, the evaporative emission system, the gas tank in the vehicle gets, the harder the diagnostic becomes. On this car, it's under the shield. So you're gonna take the shield off if, if you have tools for that. You're gonna gain access to it and then you're going to replace these. These suck in everything underneath the car that's dusty and dirty. So if you're on a dusty road, or a trail, or a desert, or something, high failure rate item. You're going to take your butt to the dealership, and you're going to buy OEM. And why? Because you won't have any problems. You buy aftermarket, you're just chasing your tail. And then you're going to replace the vent valve. You can reset the battery. Uh, if you have a code reader, you can do it that way. Uh, Cleaning this is not a fix, that's maintenance, and if the, the maintenance doesn't fix that, then you might want to take it to a shop and have them just confirm that the filler next bad or just go ahead and replace it. Thanks for watching.